Hello. Welcome to Pharmadip. My main focus is to make pharmacology easy and fun learning for you through audio and visual representation. If you are finding my videos useful then give a big thumbs up, refer to your friends and colleagues as well. This in turn motivates me to create more videos and don't forget to subscribe to remain updated on what's coming next. In this video you will get to learn something new and interesting. And I guarantee that if you focus then you are going to remember it for a very long time. Now this video is all about Chemo Man. Who is Chemo Man? What does Chemo Man stands for? Chemo Man basically represents toxicity of chemotherapeutic agents. It has abbreviations that represents the drug name and the position represents the area of toxicity. At the end of the session you will have Q and a session that will help you analyze and remember what you have understood. So let's go. C stands for cisplatin. And toxicity of cisplatin leads to ototoxicity that is toxicity of ears nephrotoxicity in kidneys. Nausea or vomiting. B stands for bleomycin and busulfan. B is around the lung area. Bleomycin and busulfan causes pulmonary toxicity. C Y around the abdominal area stands for cyclophosphamide. Both cyclophosphamide and iphosphamide causes hemorrhagic cystitis. C A around the eye area stands for caterabine. And its toxicity leads to chemical conjunctivitis. D near the chest stands for doxorubicin and donorubicin. Toxicity of these two drugs leads to cardiotoxicity. D is situated near the chest that is near the heart. Meaning it causes toxicity of heart that is cardiotoxicity. O, V and T on the arms and legs represents oxaliplatin, vincristine and taxanes. Toxicity of these agents leads to peripheral neuropathy. I around the genital area represents irinotecan. Toxicity of irinotecan results in diarrhea. These are few important toxicities of chemotherapeutic agents you need to know as a healthcare professional. This is just an overview. If you want to look into additional information then visit my website www.pharmadip.com. Now let's look at case studies or Q and A that will help you recollect what you have understood. Case study 1. A 45 years old male patient is treated with ABVD chemotherapy for Hodgkin lymphoma. He presents for cycle 4 of a planned 6 cycles with a new onset cough. He states it started a week ago and he also feels like he has a little trouble catching his breath. Which drug in the ABVD regimen is most likely cause of his pulmonary toxicity? The options available are, A. Doxorubicin, B. Bleomycin, C. Even Blastine, D. Dacarbazine. Look for the key drug and specific adverse effect. I hope you are getting the answer. Read the question again and you will find the answer to the key word. The correct option is B. Pulmonary toxicity is the most serious adverse effect of bleomycin, progressing from RALS, cough, and infiltrate to potentially fatal fibrosis. The pulmonary fibrosis that is caused by bleomycin is often referred as bleomycin lung. Second, FL is a 64 years old male about to undergo therapy for rhabdomyosarcoma. His chemotherapy includes iphosphamide. Which of the following is most appropriate to include in chemotherapy orders for this patient? The options are, A, for hydration, mesna, and frequent urine analysis, B, leucovorin and frequent urine analysis, C, allopurinol and frequent urine analysis, D, for hydration, prophylactic antibiotics, and frequent urine analysis. Look for adverse effect of drug and possible management options. Did you get the answer? The answer is option A. A unique toxicity of iphosphamide is hemorrhagic cystitis. This bladder toxicity has been attributed to toxic metabolites of iphosphamide. Adequate hydration as well as for injection of mesna that is sodium tumor captoethane sulfonate, which neutralizes the toxic metabolites, can minimize this problem. Frequent urine analysis to monitor for red blood cells should be ordered. Leucovorin is used with methotrexate of 5-fluorouracil not iphosphamide. Allopurinol has a drag interaction with iphosphamide and is not an agent that prevents hemorrhagic cystitis. Prophylactic antibiotics are not needed. That is the end of this this video. Do watch my other videos. You will get to know some important information in fun and easy way that will help you remember for a long time. Do subscribe to my channel and remain updated on what's coming next. Hope to see you soon in the next video.